Welcome back to Midday. We're down at the Campbell's Art Gallery this afternoon where an exhibit is now being shown. It's been here actually for a little bit and it's here through until June 15th. It's called Weather Systems and it's the work of a Vancouver-based artist by the name of Jermaine Coe. We have Chero Neville joining us today from the Campbell's Art Gallery to talk to us a little bit about it. Thanks for having us. Thanks for coming. Yes. This is a very interesting exhibit because it has to do with weather systems, but not necessarily um, Mother Nature altogether. It's, it's, it's Mother Nature, but it's also about human uh, interaction. Exactly. It's about the relationship that might not be otherwise recognized between human systems and natural systems. So it's a collection of different um, exhibits throughout the gallery here. Uh, we're looking at one right here, which most people would just uh, say is like a turnstile that you would see at an airport or, or going into a library. What is this about? So in fact, this turnstile is connected to an anemometer, which is just up on the top of our building, and it's measuring the wind speed outside. And then it's directly uh, correlating through a box, an electrical box inside the gallery uh, that turns the turnstile. So the windier it is outside, the faster this moves? You've got it. Interesting. So that's sort of the relationship we're talking about. Exactly. So, you know, if you're walking outside, you might not necessarily notice all these um, subtle changes in weather patterns or natural phenomenon. And so by bringing them into the gallery and connecting them to uh, everyday objects, it makes you think about them in a different way. And of course, the turnstile is something that um, limits or allows access to the other side of something. So mm -hmm. it's about human traffic as well. But in this case, it doesn't really function in that way. So it makes you pause and think about all kinds of different things. Okay, and also behind you, there is a series of logs that have been stacked up here against the wall, and then the, uh, the piping coming out from the roof onto the floor. Tell us about those. Exactly, so the other part of this exhibition is that Germain did, I think it's four new works in total that were specifically installed for our institution. And so when she first visited here, she saw these massive vents up there, and uh, they're kind of like these industrial um, vents that she's wondering, well, how could I intervene in this system? It's kind of like the breathing system for the building, right? And so she's attached these really long vacuum ducts onto them, and they kind of look like guts. That's the title of the work. Okay. And if you go up close to them, you can actually feel the air right in your face. And they're meant to actually be played with a bit. So it's a, like an intervention into an otherwise really controlled system. Sure. Because we have all these conditions that we have to maintain for museum standards. Mm -hmm. And so she's playfully kind of um, making us aware of the fact right. that we're in air-conditioned air, for instance. Okay. I'm starting to get it a little bit okay. now. <laughs> now, what about the logs? The logs um, are also a new work, and uh, she worked with our registrar here to... Um, figure out a way that we could bring natural substances into this controlled space. So there are um, regulatory bodies that determine um, what we can do in this space to, to keep up our museum standards. And so uh, we, the, the work is really about seeing how she can test those, those limits of those things. So it includes the administrative documents, which are emails with me and our registrar to figure out what's possible in terms of bringing wood into the gallery. Right. And this is actually wood that is harvested um, just outside of Kamloops, and it's beetle kill. Okay. So it has um, layers of meaning that have to do with our, um, the devastation that's happening because of the pine beetle. Um, and resource-based industry in BC and the transport of uh, wood products. And the other aspect of this, too, is that she is going to... This is just the first stage of this work. So she's going to have the wood, which is an exact cord of wood. The title is a cord of wood. And she'll have it milled and at the next stop. Uh, so wherever it's shown next, it'll become planks. And then after that, she'll have something built out of it. So it's about the transformation mm -hmm. process that wood goes under every day. And perhaps the most interesting of the exhibits here today, Chero, are uh, the metal balls. There's like a metal ball room at the end, and it's a bunch of metal balls that are falling from the ceiling. Tell me about that. Exactly. So 
This work was uh, first conceived when she was in Toronto and um, on a residency working with the Japanese Cultural Center. And she was looking at their artifacts and she saw all these pachinko balls. And so she was thinking about games of chance and this uh, idea of play versus what she's created here, which is a little bit of hazard. So uh, there's about a 12 foot column that goes to the ceiling and it's connected to this track and the uh, ball bearings go along the track and then they fall from the mm. sky. So uh, they're everywhere in the gallery now and they will be for years to come. <laughs> there's ball bearings everywhere. Yes. And so there's kind of this, um, this sense of having to be cautious, but it's quite a playful work. And it also refers to elements, which is, uh, you know, tying back into the weather systems um, theme. You were saying earlier, it sort of does sound like hail falling on a tin roof. It does, yeah. yeah. We had to put in a subfloor, so it's oh, actually, really? um, you know, um, fake wood floor. Okay. Um, so the, the uh, ball bearings falling on that plastic actually creates that kind of sound, and they jump. So they'll hit the floor and they'll go feet in the hot bit high into the sky. And people who come down to check out this exhi exhibit are welcome to actually walk in there. You feel them Absolutely. falling on your head a little bit. They don't hurt you, but it gives you that feel. Yeah. Right? Yeah, exactly. Interesting. Like hail. Exactly. Is there anything else you'd like to add? It's a very unique exhibit, I would say, here, but it leaves you with something to think about. Yeah, it's more of a contemplative um, show in that way. There's another work that's part of this Fair Weather Forces systems, uh, or Fair Weather Forces series that's called Sunlight, and it's actually um, just a whole bunch of lights in a room, and the room is empty. So you might not think that it's an artwork at first, but it's uh, all the lights are connected to sensors outside of the building, and so it's registering the actual light levels outside. So you can come in early in the day, and it might be quite sunny out, mm -hmm. and later in the day, the lights dim. So it's really um, kind of, making you think about things that maybe you take for granted otherwise. Absolutely. I really appreciate you guys spending some time with us down here today, telling us a little bit more about this. Again, it's called Weather Systems. Yes. Jermaine Co. out of Vancouver uh, has uh, been the, the person, the force behind this work. So uh, definitely worth coming and checking out. More to it than meets the eye, that's for sure. And it will be here until June 15th. Yes. yes. Awesome. Information is on your screen if you would like more information or just simply come on down to the Camels Art Gallery. Worth a look for sure. We're going to take a two-minute break. When we come back, more midday. Stay with us.